Hello and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm talking to all you new subscribers, returning subscribers, or if you're just a passerby who just clicked on this video, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, so to do this challenge super fast, you're going to need this enchantment, Refreshment, which reduces your potion cooldown time by three seconds every time you defeat mobs. This is super helpful and will increase your chances of completing this challenge a whole lot faster because its usual cooldown time is just painful and will take you a whole lot longer. It might even take you six days. So you might be lucky enough to have this enchantment more than once on a weapon. But for me, I just have it on the one of my soul fists. So enchantment, enchant them to the max. And then you want to find a level that has the most mobs. In this video, we're going to go through a few maps. Again, you're going to have your own methods. So there's no right or wrong way of doing this. But to test it out, I start on Creeper Woods. And as you can see, the potion cooldown time drastically reduces every time you defeat a mob. Also, what I do recommend, I mean, I don't realize this until a little later on, but don't have your golem or be careful of your armor. Make sure it doesn't have an enchantment that um, burns enemies or shocks them in any way that's going to kill them before you defeat them. In order for this to work, you need to defeat them with your melee. And then your potion will reduce a whole lot quicker. So you could try any level you want. The first one being Creeper Woods. Like I said, it doesn't matter which level you choose. There might be one that's better than the other. And to be honest, I did find a level which, in my opinion, is the best. And I'm going to show you that a little later on. But I'm going to go and skip ahead. I'm not going to make you guys watch the entire run through of Creeper Woods. At the time of recording, this video was 56 minutes long. And I just want to apologize. No game audio was captured and I don't know why. That's NVIDIA Shadow Play for you. I usually use OBS to capture my recordings. But I used NVIDIA just for just because it's quick and easy. But I have no idea why it did not capture the game audio. But no, not all is lost. It doesn't matter. I might try and find some audio to put in the background just so it's not complete silence. So anyway, moving on, I'm going to go and skip ahead to the end of the level. Okay, so now with that done, we return back to camp, collect our goodies. So 224 potions used out of 500. Not too bad. Pretty good run. As always, I just like to check the merchant just to see if any of the weapons have better enchantments. You never know. Okay, so it's not a Minecraft Dungeons video without playing Moo. <laughs> you gotta love a bit of Moo. This level, like I've mentioned in previous videos, is excellent for XP. But I give this a go just to see if the enchantment does also work when defeating the cows. And you'll be surprised, it actually does. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a quick like run through of it. Doesn't work all the time, but as you can see, it does reduce quite significantly. It's very helpful, especially when there's like a, a large crowd of moves. It does help very, it's quite effective. It's really good. Okay, so I'm going to move on now to the end of the level. 
And welcome back. Collect our goodies. The beloved enchanted grass. Mm, grass. A little bit of grass, right? Go back to the Avenger Hub. We are now at 247. So again, not too bad of a run. Always check the merchant. I accidentally got rid of my ghost cloak. I could do with uh, re uh, getting that pack just for my speed build. Nothing good, nothing of interest though in the merchants. But now, on to the final mission that I believe is the best level. In my opinion, again, there might be a better one. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go here. High block halls. Now, it is a lot longer mission, but it is totally worth it. You want to explore every inch, every square of this level to maximize the potential of using your potions. And it also is very helpful to defeat those um, vindicators, collect the um, modifiers as well. So I actually do two runs of this. So I'm going to skip ahead to the second run, actually. In fact, no, I'm going to skip to the end of this run just to show you guys how much more potions I gained from the first run. And the second run was actually the best run. It was a whole lot better than the first run. Okay, so back to the camp, collect our goodies, blah, 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 love medallion, da, 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 and an extra reward for the modifiers, blah, blah. Back to the adventure hub, 309, see how much more we got from that run. That was awesome. And we ranked up as well, 21. Sweet. Okay, so back for the second time. Like I said, this was a much better run. And the reason why is because, again, this is why I told you to collect the modifiers. Because um, I got one that enabled night mode, which spawns more mobs, which is super helpful. More mobs, the better, right? All right, so I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. And also, don't forget, like I said before, explore every inch of this map. I'll also, I also find the location for the Ender Eyes, Eyes of the Ender. So if you guys haven't yet found all Eyes of the Ender, the uh, location is actually in high block halls. And here he is. This is the guy you have to defeat. And then he drops the eye of the ender. Da -da -da -da. So now, as you can see, look at our modifiers. We've got night mode. Threat increased times, I can't see from here, is it times three? But again, spawning all the mobs. Again, just increasing the chances of dropping the cooldown of your potion massively. It is such a great help. So that brings us almost to an end of this video. This is the final sort of battle at the end, which again is awesome because a lot of enemies are spawned. Nice little victory pose at the end there. Da, 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 da. And what I do here is I thought it might have been worth just hanging around a little because we're in night mode. I thought that if it would spawn more mobs, it would be quicker, but it wasn't very effective. So I wouldn't recommend doing this. But I do have one 
final tip. When, even when you're in the camp, you can use your potion. So whenever you're just hanging about, chilling, you might be waiting for a friend. Um, just keep an eye on your potion. Use it in the camp because that again will count towards the challenge. So, yeah. Hope you found this video very helpful, you guys. Now we're just going to go and see how much more potions we gained just from that run. And like I said at, at the beginning of the video, this recording was actually 56 minutes long. So, did about, what, four runs? 397 potions. That is awesome. I could literally get that done in about, what, two more runs? Less than an hour left. So, just to go over, you're going to need this enchantment, refreshment. Look out for this. It's going to be on your melee and ranged weapon, but I just, I'd recommend you go on for the melee. So, like, yeah, hope you found this video very useful. If you did, drop a thumbs up, drop any comments. If you want to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Check out the Minecraft Dungeon Season 2 playlist that I have now created for you guys. I put together all these videos into a playlist. I've gone through all the challenges, giving you hints and tips, giving you my guide on how to complete the challenges as quickly and efficient as possible. Also, guys, you can see me live on Twitch, which will be very soon. All the links and info will be in the description. Thanks again. Peace out. Bye-bye.